Cats are known for their uncanny ability to land on their feet. Our question is, what control strategies do they use to perform these acrobatics? More specifically, we wish to answer the following question. What is the minimum model of a cat that will flip in a biologically realistic manner? Does the cat need legs to perform its acrobatics? What about a tail? Can it flip without being able to twist its spine? In other words, will a model as simple as this be able to flip over? Or will we need this Franken cat? To answer this question, we work our way up in complexity along the modeling spectrum. We know this won't flip. We know a real cat flips. But what about two bodies pinned together? What about more complex models? We will continue to add degrees of freedom to the base case until we get a flipping feline. Having addressed the minimum part of our research question, we now ask, what makes a flip biologically realistic? National Geographic has somewhat unscientifically answered this question for us. As can be seen from the video, the cat rotates its anterior half first, preparing its front feet for landing. The twisted spine then untwists, aligning the back feet with the front. Finally, the cat arches its back to absorb the impact with the ground. Given our models, how can we simply capture this biological motion? We need a clear objective function defining what it means to be flipped. As seen here, we started with only three terms. The first ensures that the front feet are down. The second does the same for the back feet. The third dictates that the cat land with a symmetric hunch. Note that the degrees of freedom between the halves of the model are referred to as twist, hunch, and wag. Here a cat goes from some arbitrary configuration to feet down. To help the optimizer find good solutions, we needed to more fully specify the cat's final pose by adding terms to the objective function. For example, we applied a penalty to the objective if the model twisted its spine by more than 90 degrees during the maneuver. In parallel with this augmentation of the objective function, we noticed that the tail might play an important role in the cat's flip. So we added a two degree of freedom tail to some of the models. You will see two of these models on the next slide. With the augmented objective function and an actuatable tail on some of the models, the optimizer found some interesting flipping strategies. Track the yellow vectors or legs in each of these looping videos. When they are oriented downward, the cat has flipped. In the upper left is a rigid body with no freedom between the halves, and, but with a tail. Below that is a model without a tail that can only hunch and wag, not twist, between the model halves. In this case, the rear of the cat acts like a more massive tail. In the bottom left is a combination of those first two models. In the upper right, legs have been added to the cat halves. But the spine's freedom has been restricted to only twist. Although it's getting there, the model does not flip. Finally, the large model has everything except for the tail. Seeing these results, we realize that no part of the cat is wasted. Each of the models on the previous slide does flip, or at least gets close, so the minimum flipping model would be one of two degrees of freedom, say, hunch and wag. Yet each of these flips has unrealistic characteristics. A full model may be necessary for biological realism, as specified by our research question. Biologically realistic cat flipping is a combination of two flipping modes. The first of these modes is for non-twist connections. As you see in the video, the tail's rotation about the axis of the spine allows the rest of the body to rotate in the opposite direction, or to counter-rotate. As a result of conserving angular momentum, the much lower mass, and therefore inertia, of the tail means that its angular velocity is significantly greater. The second mode relies on the variation of the body's moment of inertia throughout the fall. In this case, the spine can twist. To get one half of the cat to counter-rotate faster than the other, that half's moment of inertia must be reduced. This happens by bringing in those legs close to the body. The other half's legs stay normal to the body. Beyond answering our research question, we made several contributions to the body of OpenSim code, including an XML-based framework for rapidly modifying parameters between runs of the optimizer. We leave these next steps to you. Our code is posted on our OpenSim Confluence webpage.